is up reactors guess what i'm back in my natural habitat i had a very good trip down to florida to see some friends and also see dr strange so make sure you guys see that review of what we thought about dr strange it will be linked in the description and at the end of this video but today what we got is a new video from screen junkies you know I love their videos, and you know I love their honest trailers. And this one is about Uncharted. Yes, if you've seen my review of Uncharted, it's on my TikTok of what I thought about this movie. I thought this movie was okay. Not the best video game movie, clearly, because Sonic 2 took that away. But I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, uh, Uncharted was a decent movie. It was a decent movie. Could have been better. Uh, I didn't have a bad time, and I didn't have a good time with it. It was just okay. But I'm very eager to see what Honest Trailer says about this movie. So, you know what it is. Time to reel it in. Let's see what you got, Honest Trailer. From the Disney of gaming and the EA of film comes a swashbuckling romp about a buff dude, a smaller quippy guy, and a sexy lady with an accent to hunt down a mythical treasure. Red Notice. I, I mean, <laughs> Jungle wait. Cruise. No, wait, I mean, Uncharted. Yes, sir. Ugh. Since when did bad versions of the mummy become its own genre? The Uncharted games make you feel like you're playing an action movie. Now, the big screen adaptation has arrived, and you'll feel like you're watching someone else play Uncharted while you fall asleep on their couch that plucks a few cool moments from the games. Now that part was cool. everything else into a bland cinematic paste. But hey, everyone loves an unfaithful game adaptation, right? Right? No. Right? No. No? And why did this no. one get a pass? Are you that horny for Spider-Man? Do better, humanity. I Tom gotta continue Holland watching Peter Halo. Parker with a fake ID. After growing roughly five years from his childhood flashback, Nate's become one of those bartenders who thinks of themselves as more of a mixologist. A Negroni? First made in 1919 for Count Camillo Negroni when he swapped the soda water and his usual drink, the Americano, in between shaking apple teenies, he's also become a self-taught history scholar and parkour expert who definitely knows how to shoot a gun. Oops, I was thinking of the games again. Silly me. No, this version just knows how to chew some gum. <laughs> Damn, he does that. The gum in the martini. He does it a lot in that film. It's one thing to cast totally a younger remember. Nathan for a prequel, but did they really have to treat him like a buff little toddler the whole time? You still working on the tie? I just can't figure out the length. I made you a drink. Shirley Temple. It's hilarious. Puberty's right around the corner, kid. You can grow your own. When you put Boston and a crucifix in your script, you summon Mark Wahlberg. Yep. And when Marky Mark remarks on Nate's mark, Who's the right mark? He'll deny Marky Mark's mark remarks. I'm not a mark in some bar. But when Marky Mark remarks on your mark, mark my words, you're Marky Mark's next mark. Watch them form a mini-me, even mini-er-me relationship. They're only like one inch taller than me. As this charming, one-dimensional actor shows Tom Holland his acting future. You think that I know something? Yeah. Do you? Did you really just ask me that? Bravo, gentlemen. <laughs> Powerful stuff. And when they throw a woman into the mix with all the depth and backstory of a cave troll. One day I found a bronze statue covered in gems buried under a bridge. It'll kick off a non-stop three-way of double crosses. Sully, where are you going? You can't leave me. You'll let her take the cross? You'll let her take the cross? Give it to me. You're kidding, right? Chloe! I'm sorry, Nate. Yeah, I might have let her steal the wrong coordinates. <laughs> In a quip field face off, I did like over that actual part. crosses. Give me a cross. I'm not giving you my cross. Why would I do that? You don't need them both. Give me the cross. You haven't said please. Throw your key down. You two think you're gonna double cross me? You want the stupid key or you want the gold? So give me the key. Yeah, it goes on like this for like 90 minutes. Trust me. We're gonna have to figure out a way to trust each other. She's not to be trusted. The minute you start to trust someone, you lose. You can trust me. Trust me! What, you don't trust me? What, you don't trust me? I don't trust anybody. It's five billion in gold. Just split it three ways, morons. What are you trying to do, buy Twitter? Strap in for a globe-trotting adventure. Elon Musk. Like, the kind where you stay in hostels to cut costs. As Nate and Sully travel from the Kitty Got Wet Bar in Manhattan to Spain's most ancient Papa John's. I'm like literally in a Papa John's right now. To a cave with not one, but two old boats inside. Suck it, Goonies. 
all stitched together by a thin paste of banter, parkour, and Blue's Clues level puzzles. In a film that doesn't Damn. even try to justify why two Boston jabronis can steal another country's gold for themselves. What, are you some kind of professor or something? Just shut up and fill your cargo pants, okay? And while you're at it, say hello to your brother. Say hello to your brother for me, will you? Hey, that's my line, lady. So fly through an adventure. Adventure so like average. Marshall. Netflix is using it to train their AI that writes their movies. That's not so much a prequel of Uncharted as it is a Frankenstein's monster of Uncharted 4. A bad photocopy of Indiana Jones. Nuns, why is it always gotta be nuns? When did you decide to become Indiana Jones? And the soft launch of the PlayStation Cinematic Universe. Eh, pass. But how much cooler would it have been if they crossed that it over with, I don't know, God of War, Saints Row, and Assassin's Creed? What the hell happened to you two? That doesn't count. Starring Peter Parkour. Ah! Ah! Parkour! 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 It's still going! Parkour! Ah! Wall burglars. I'm puss in suits. Goons never say die. Gray's archaeology. Nolan North on vacation by himself in the Philippines. <laughs> hmm. Uncharted fans, when they watch this movie. So. Drake. <laughs> Drake. Drake. And oh crap, remastered. Holy sh. Holy sh. Holy sh. Holy sh. Tom Raider. T what? Like Tomb Raider, but Tom Raider. <laughs> Wait a minute, Naughty Dog the company exists in this world? What games do they make? The more I understand humanity, the more I love my dog. What? Yo! What? Please say I'm talking in Morse code, in actual Morse code, please, and is actually doing it. That was amazing. That was amazing. I don't know. That was the best part of the video right there. <laughs> he was ripping that movie to shreds because that movie could have been better and it's and it wasn't. I don't know. That's my personal opinion. All right. I didn't really like that movie or care. It was okay. Fun moments here and there, but he absolutely pointed out everything that I didn't like about this movie or could have been better about this movie in this YouTube video. So make sure you guys go over there to Screen Junkies. Give them a like and subscribe to them as well. Comment down below on what you guys thought about Uncharted. Did you like it or did you not like it? What did you think about this uh, YouTube video? What did you think about my reaction? Simple as that. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button on this video because you know it helps. And turn on those notifications. All right, turn on those notifications so that you guys know when my next video drops. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys next time. This is Realidin Reactions, and I am Realidin Miles. Peace.